Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Android News Byte. This week, Qualcomm is hosting its annual Snapdragon Summit, and during the event, we saw various hardware announcements, including the Snapdragon X2 Elite. The company's CEO shared their vision for 6G connectivity. We learned about the introduction of advanced professional video a.k.a. APV codec. And of course, there was a bunch of talk about AI and agentic AI in general. But I know most of you are going to be focused on the new flagship chipset that was finally revealed. It's going to be called the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, and it's going to be used in over a dozen new phones that are scheduled to be announced throughout the year. And the first phone to use the chip is said to be launching in the coming days. Let's take a look. We kind of already know what the first Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 smartphones are gonna be. The Xiaomi 17, Xiaomi 17 Pro, and the Xiaomi 17 Pro Max are currently scheduled to launch sometime before the end of this month. And they've already said that it will be using the next generation flagship offering from Qualcomm. But what about the other devices? Qualcomm was happy to talk about its hardware partners at the Snapdragon Summit this week, digging into the details a little further. We've learned that the Asus ROG Phone 10 will be sporting this new chip. The Honor Magic 8 series and the Honor Pad 3 Pro 13.3 are both confirmed to be using the new chipset. The IQ0015, Nubia Red Magic 11, and the OnePlus 15 are all scheduled to use the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 as well. We can then expect the Oppo Find X9 Ultra to use this new flagship chip, the Poco F8 Ultra, Realme GT8 Pro, and the Vivo X300 Ultra will all be using it as their flagship SoC as well. And even the Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra is also slated to be using the latest Qualcomm chipset. We're even told that phones from Nubia, Sony, and ZTE are all going to be opting to use this chip in their high-end smartphones as well. That means there are going to be over a dozen new Android smartphones that are going to be using desktop level silicon in their new device. Qualcomm is really hitting it out of the park with its new Orion CPU cores. Since we're finally seeing some competition coming to Intel and AMD when it comes to the laptop and data center markets too. I personally have the Asus VivoBook S15 with the Snapdragon X Elite, and it is a beast of a machine, especially at the price that I was able to get it for. And I don't see Qualcomm slowing down its progress anytime soon. Let me know down in the comments section below if you've had a chance to try out a device with one of these Orion CPU cores, and I'll see you here in the next one.